Hello there and welcome to my page. My name is Alexander Rosinek and today I want to talk to you about leadership skills and something I just heard for about that. So stay tuned, I see you on the other side. Okay, welcome back. So leadership skills. I am actually currently listening this uh, one program. I already listened it several times. Uh, this is my library, you know that already, right? So I'm listening to this leadership success program with Six Ziegler um, and so many other great leaders and one of them is Chris Widener. And today, I, I, I'm not just coming back from jogging by the way, you can see that on my dress. <laughs> so it's morning and um, <clears throat> I, on, while jogging I always listen to some programs which I would recommend you as well because it's at that time if you do at all sports which I ha ha warmly recommend to you then use that time to listen some 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 programs some audiobooks some some stuff motivating stuff that helps you advance in your life anyway that's just as a, as a side commentary <clears throat> so I was listening to this Chris Widener and he speaks about leadership right now and he is telling the idea of <coughs> uh, sorry <coughs> okay so he's telling that for great leadership we need two things one is uh, we need skills and the second one is we need character and yeah, it's quite obvious, no? If you imagine a person who has no skills but a great character, what is he? He's a nice guy. I would invite him here in my garden. Uh, this is my house, but you know that. Or so here in my garden to to have a, a grill afternoon or to watch the football world mastership or eat some chips or hang out, good, have a good time together, right? But I would probably not. He's not the leader. Okay, I would not follow him. So, and on the other hand, think about a person who is, has great skills, but no character. Now, such a person could lead for some time. People would follow him out of respect because, because of his great skills, right? But the problem is, after some time, everybody, you would start to think like, hmm, I don't know about him, you know? I don't know if I really want to follow him. He, of course he knows what he's doing and that's all fine, but I just don't know about him. So what we need is skills and character and they need to come together. <clears throat> now, skills you can learn. You can visit some courses and learn, right? That's obvious. Everybody knows we can learn skills. Everybody can learn skills. Now character you can build. And that's a fact. It's not that you are born with a good character or with a bad character. You develop your character. You can develop a good character and become a great leader. <clears throat> so I find this a very important point. And this all boils down to, I'm talking about that a lot in my blogs. You know that in my videos. Um, develop yourself. You are building a business. Most of you who are watching this video are part of my team in the in this uh, Carapaz thing and as such you are building your own business you have to be a leader you cannot have a great massive thriving organization moving thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars if you're not a great leader it's just not possible so <clears throat> I invite you to develop your your skills Obviously, you must develop your skills. You must learn about whatever business you are in, whether you're in my team or in another team or in another company or whatever. You must develop your skills. You must know about what you're selling, what are you doing, what is it. Know everything, okay? So you don't need to know everything in the beginning if you are just starting out. But you need to know everything in time. Or to know where to get the information if you need, if it's something about you don't know. <clears throat> so develop your skills, learn, 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 just go on. In the beginning you don't know anything, that doesn't matter. You have your upline that helps you. For my team, I'm always there to help. 
and even my upline is always there to help. So that's no problem. But if you are going to be that great leader, then you must develop that. Now the character, you must work on that too. There is many things needed for a great, good character. If you don't know what, I, before I want to tell you what I think, I think it's more important you sit down, take a sheet of paper, take a pen and write down what character a person would need to have so that you can follow it. Now, if you do that exercise, you will realize that those are the skills you need to develop. You need to be honest, you need to be straightforward, you need to be so many things, you name it. <laughs> I don't need to tell you, you know that. Sit down, take a sheet of paper and don't just do it in your mind, write it down. And then you can develop a worksheet and that's what you are going to develop, develop in the next, whatever, few months or years or weeks or it depends how fast you want to work and how fast you want to be a great leader. Okay, so I think that's it for today. Um, just a little remark on the side, Chris Widener, the one I got inspired by today, you can find him on the internet. I try to remember the web page, I'm sorry. Um, www.madeforsuccess.com You find Chris Widener, get into his program, learn from him. He's a great leader and a leadership teacher. So just get there and learn from him and from so many others. Um, my wish for you is that you become a great leader. You will have a thriving organization and I hope to meet, if I didn't yet, I hope to meet you soon on top, on the top. See you and have a great day. Bye.